The one secret most employees don't know about employers. About 20 minutes ago, one of my friends called me and told me something about one of the employees of my company. He asked me something like, where did you get that guy? He then concludes, he's damn good. This is going to be about the third time someone will tell me something similar to this about the same person. So there has to be something special about him I couldn't see. Few minutes after that conversation, I started thinking. If this guy truly does a great job as everyone says, then we have to overpay him. Overpay someone? Yes, there's a secret about that. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you that simple secret I wish every employee knows about employers. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Sucker coaches are dependent. If you want to think about successful entrepreneurs and employers, think about a sucker coach. A sucker coach doesn't play in the competition. His work is to bring talents together, train them and rely on them to do well. The same thing with every employer or entrepreneur. Though you can see most successful entrepreneurs and employers as bold, confident and influential people, like sucker coaches, they are very dependent. The one secret you must know about employers if you are an employee, is that they are dependent on the ability of their employees to do a great job. And how is this important to you? Well, what most employees don't know is that they can get to a point where their employer will be willing to overpay them. Let me tell you how that works. You see, quality people are very scarce. If I tell you that, just believe me. I've spent the last 11 years in the harsh world of entrepreneurship and up till this day, my most difficult job is to hire the right people. Today, if my business announces on social media that we have a few vacant positions, hundreds of people would apply. But out of this multitude, only a very few people would be fit for the job. And even many times, you'll have to hire wrong people. It's tough. And if you run a business, you'll know how tough it is to get a great hands. Now that I've told you that quality people are very scarce, do I still need to tell you the reason why I wanted to overpay one of our staff whose work attracted other people's attention? There's no mathematics here. When something is scarce, you want to have it forever. And how to have it forever is by taking care of it. Exploit the weaknesses of your employer. The reason why we are making this video is that I want to show you that your employer isn't as strong as you think. Yes, I am an employer and I know that. The one secret your employer keeps to himself is that he knows that he cannot run his business alone and he knows that he should not run his business with just any Joe. I once read something that goes like, you cannot build a business, you can only build the people who build a business. In other words, the success or failure of your business is eventually going to be determined by the quality of the people who work with your business. Every entrepreneur knows this and you can position yourself at the right place to take advantage of this weakness. So, how do you do that? Climb up the ladder. You see, competition for the job is crazy at the bottom, but at the top, there are too many jobs for only a few people. I'm telling you about my experience. For example, I live in a country where millions of people are underemployed, and as I write the script for this video, my company has vacant positions that I am still looking for the right skills to fill. What is happening here? First, don't let me make it sound as if there's nobody qualified for the vacant positions we have because we've tried enough to recruit for those positions. Instead, what I'm saying is that most people are only qualified for average positions. If you run a company and you want to hire someone who is a good leader, a great tech person, a superstar salesperson, or many other top positions, you'll look and search for almost the entire city before you find few. That's why I advise you to climb up. Climb up. Improve your mind. Admire quality and relevant skills. Don't just carry a degree all about. Let me talk about this in detail. How the degree is useless. When I was building my business, I simply told myself that I was never going to employ people because of their degrees. The reason for this may be because I don't have a degree. I think it does make sense that the guy who doesn't have any degree should not be judged based on their decorated papers. I was, however, amazed a few months ago to know that many great companies in the world no longer care about people's degrees anymore. 
This is not to say that you shouldn't go and burn your degrees. Yes, you can get average jobs with degrees, but you cannot get a real job, the job that overpays you with the degree. This is what I mean. A company can employ you as an engineer, accountant, or doctor because you have a Harvard degree. Yes, you'll be paid the average salary. But for you to get to a point in your career where you're overpaid, you have to have more than the degrees. Your social intelligence, your emotional intelligence, your self-education, your self-development, etc. are the things that make you more valuable to any company and those are the things I'm advocating. Doing the difficult things. A few months ago, I committed myself to start reading one book every week. As at the time of making this video, I am reading 700-page Albert Einstein biography. It's a big book, but I have to destroy it. Do I enjoy reading books? Yes and no. Let's face it. Nobody loves reading, especially if you can watch videos. Why should you have in front of you the black, big, scary 700-page book when you can get to YouTube and play a 10-minute video? But here's the thing. When I read and learn new things, I laugh, and that brings me joy. The joy of knowing what most people in the world don't know. The joy of becoming smarter, and smarter every day. So, here's the thing. It's not easy to climb up and become one of the most paid people in your industry, but it doesn't have to be easy. Do it anyway. It may not be easy to learn a new relevant skill. Do it anyway. It may not be easy to learn and understand the new technologies that can make you more valuable. Do it anyway. It may not be easy to read about leadership, human relationship, or negotiation. Do it anyway. If I were an employee today, my goal will be to become the most valuable individual in my industry. And I think that should be your goal. Because except you set a goal to become the most valuable person in your industry, you'll be down there competing with other average people. The truth is, too many people are at the bottom. So, the bottom is crowded. Only a few people are at the top of the ladder. And that's why there is scarcity at the top. Because there are only a few people at the top. They get paid too much money. And that should be where you want to be. If you like this video, you may have interest in learning from the people who have risen from the bottom to becoming the most successful in their fields and generation. We have created a YouTube channel for just that. And we call it Fame TV. Look at the description box to join the Fame TV. We love you.